Welcome to Weekly Time Castle, Week 21, 2021. I'm special guest host, Trumbull Does It. And I'm your special guest host, Didi Shoto. Yes, and today we have a lot of interesting topics to talk about, such as uh, the businessman coming to Jackson, ran about his venture. And What's that, Mississippi made? Yeah. Mississippi? Mississippi. Gotcha. Yes, yeah, a businessman come here to uh, Spear in Jackson, Mississippi, you know, since the COVID and all that, and he had a video to go viral about his uh, visit here. So oh. we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, the sports, yeah. where uh, basketball players are getting popcorns and sped on. Yeah, y'all. You know. Entertainment news for you, too. Yes, and even Akon getting this SUV stolen. So. We gonna jump right into it. First, what Mississippi made news. That's right, you guys. A man rants about his experience in Jackson, a businessman, you guys. He came to Jackson and he says that, well, let me tell you exactly what he said, all right? He said a viral video about the city of Jackson is getting a lot of attention. The video was posted by a business visitor who said he loved the people in Jackson, but not the conditions in Jackson. And he blames the officials. He blames the city officials. Okay. Yes, Mr. Joshua Deshaun. I mean, the vi it went viral. You know, he was like, he came here. He had a lot of hospitality. The people was warm, but he blamed the city officials because of they lack of the the businesses or uh, the roads, the infrastructures, and mm -hmm. this kind of added uh, a, a flame to the offices because you had a lot of officials that stand up and said, uh, "He don't understand what he's talking about," you know. So yeah, well, he went on to say <laughs> that this is beyond the shadow of a doubt the poorest city that he has ever seen. Now, this is a traveling business yes, I, person, you know. I mean, wow. I mean, you can't blame him. I wouldn't blame him because I'm a resident in Jackson. And I can say that we need more room for improvement. You know, uh, if, if we want to talk about those issues such as, you know, the Florida areas, you know, the uh, Madison areas. But do you blame the city officials in Jackson? Yeah, yes, I, I mean, you have to. Who else can you blame? You can't blame the people. The people are just living in the city, but you know, they didn't make the city, you know. And you look at Flowood mm -hmm. over the last 25 years, they had, there was a green field, but look at Flowood now. That's right. You know, Pearl as well. You know, you know, just all those places like that. So, you know, uh, Lumamba uh, actually responded to him, telling him that he was only peeping through a window. That I think his response was a little combative to me. <laughs> this is what Jermayor F. Jackson said. But I imagine if I peek into his house, I can come to some speculation as to what led to that. What he doesn't know from peeking in is that we have paved more roads in the past two years than the 10 years previously combined. He doesn't know this is on the account of 30 years of neglect, says um, Mayor Chokwe Amtar Lumumba. Yes, and I, I, honest, I agree with him. You know, I love Lumumba. I have to just say it just personally. Uh, as someone that's trying to do something with the city normally comes to a, a, a pitch in a road where they don't have the funds to actually do that. You know, so where they had uh, increased the one percent to uh, percent taxes to try to take their revenue and actually fix the roads, but since now that they can throw it out the window, window, it's like we're not getting federally matched to uh, actually do something with our city. So yeah. I understand, Lumamba, uh, yeah. with this situation. And yeah. Councilman Banks, I oh, got yeah. the Councilman Banks. Pastor Aaron Banks. He said that um, he will say that anyone who has passion and who um, wants to see the city of Jackson do better to just hit him up. Give him a call. Aaron Banks, your councilman, and, and he says he's going to help you out, y'all. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Jackson, we got to do better. We need to do better. You got some councilmen telling you to talk to him. Let's do better, Mayor and uh, Jackson. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that works. It, that works. <laughs> now, talking on gets you so far, but we would like you to comment, like, and share, you know, subscribe, so we can talk about these issues as well, you know, because the city of Jackson really needs some attention right now. And to speak about that, you know, uh, is the conditions only getting worse? As far as, uh, you know, uh, the governor cutting up PUA funds and as mm. Joshua Deshaun just said, it's the poorest city in the states. He is a traveler. Uh, so we need to, we need to kind That's of figure right, this guys. out. What are we gonna do? We need, to, we need to move forward as, you know, Mississippi together. And like, comment, and subscribe, you know, so we can talk about this and next, Next, we got mm -hmm. some entertainment news for you guys. All right.
think we're talking about Billboard 2021 wow. Billboard Awards. Exciting. Yeah, Exciting. they that mm. was on when was that May 23rd? Yes. Yes, that was May 23rd, 2021. You guys, did you watch the Billboard? Did you watch oh, the Billboard yeah, Awards? I, I caught it off the woods. You know, I, I just wanted to see who won, uh, and and it was up for grabs this time. I mean, Pop Smoke won five. Five awards. You got uh the weekend walking off with ten, and you got BT. W BTW winning four. Yeah, and Bad Bunny. Yeah, Bad Bunny. Yo. Why's his name Bad Bunny? That's a guy. Yeah, hey, it's a new industry now. You know what? Things are a lot different. But as far as for the uh, awards, it was it was some interesting facts on there. Where I seen the most achievement award that touched me was Trade the Truth when he uh, got an award for got, like, Game Changer. Game Changer of the Year, Trailer wow. Truth, got Game Changer of the I Year, I mean, that's to be celebrated. Someone that stands up in the midst of uh, this society where everything crumbling and still say protect our women and protect the children and put out positive energy. I, I, I salute Trader Truth, man, and Pop Smoke. R.P., R.P., a great, great artist that feel way too short, you know, of his reign right now, you know, but he... He won next to Raw Wave. Yeah. I mean, Raw Wave did a great job he did. coming for you know. He did. The, I want to talk about this top Christian artist, and then they got top gospel artists. Oh, like, wow. what's the difference between Christian and gospel? I think <laughs> it might just be the color, but we're going to leave it at that. But, y'all, they had the top gospel artists of the year. So, in the category, you got Kirk Franklin, you got... Corinne Cawthorn, Tasha Cobbs. Tasha Cobbs, and Maverick City Music, and you also got Kanye West. Who y'all think won? Of course, man. You want to think Kanye, Kanye. West? <laughs> Why Kanye West win? I'll never know, man, but hey. Jesus walks. Hey, Jesus walks. That wasn't 2021. <laughs> Jesus didn't walk for Kanye in 2021. But look, Kanye is wife. Kanye. Kanye is Kanye. So you know you got to get it to him. And then he won on top of Kirk Franklin. I got to salute. Uh, Kanye, you know, because Kanye is an uh, artist. That's what you call an artist, not a rapper. You can jump into this venue, a Christian, gospel, hip hop, and he still can get a nominee for it. So you got to get it to him for that. Yeah, you know, I salute him for his hard work, and, you know, I salute him. We got top rap female artists. You got Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, and Sawiti. Yeah, so who a, you think won? Hey, the Stallion <laughs> took it in because, you know, Cardi B, like yesterday. Oh, hold up, hold up. To me. Oh, uh, Cardi B set the trend right now for this 2020, 2019. You think? Yeah, she set okay. the trend right now. So, you know, you have a lot of other female artists that, you know, I think it's good that females are getting a light shine on them for their lyricism and all that, you know. And it's, for their lyricism? It's, I won't say for their, uh, not all of them. Because okay. some of them just, my opinion is just rapping. They're not Kanye's, of course. But Megan <laughs> is a lyricist. She can freestyle. She can <laughs> rap. She is the bomb. She can rap now. But now the, a lot of them so much. I don't know, and I don't think they get the attention because they, 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 um, you know. But you gotta get to the weekend too. I mean, the top radio song. The weekend, uh, yeah, he did really wow. good. The weekend right then with a few, probably about three or four awards yeah, for the weekend. No, ten. Oh what? Yeah, that's ten. Oh. You know, even on the side of He's Drake, you know, it. so even you have a. Uh, Drake, they got the most streaming. I mean, Drake's still the man. You got to get to Drake him. Drake is uh, the man. How long he been reigning now? About like 12, 10, 12 years? He's doing a great job. I mean, but hey, a lot of people may not feel like such and such should have won or they should have won, but we may feel the same. So like, comment, and subscribe so we can talk about these issues. That's <laughs> right, you guys. And up next, we got a little bit of viral news for you guys. Some stuff that's been viral. That is about Akon. Akon had his Range Rover stolen from an Atlanta gas station. Wow. And the police said it only takes one second. I only take one second. It is. He pumping gas. He let, left the car running and, and off they go with his vehicle. <laughs> but now it didn't take long. He left his iPhone in the car. A few minutes, they got it. They retrieved the vehicle, you know. So Akon, what you, I like me some Akon. Yeah, you know, been in, been in the game a long time. You know, open the doors for T-Pain and such as other artists and, you know, so I, I commend uh, Acom, but you are not to, you know, subscribe. I mean, you are not to disregard the communities that you live in, because Atlanta, uh, I mean, it's a hot area. You know, a lot of people went to the All Star Weekend, came up with all the SUVs stolen, tires stolen, rims stolen. People got to get a Atlanta. job and stop stealing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But it's. <laughs> 
Yeah, they jacking rappers now. Come on, man. That's they calling right. you no exception, brother. You stay on your side of town. We're safe. Yeah, but Akon <laughs> was not injured during the incident, you guys. And it is not recommended to leave vehicles running while pumping gas, okay? So in addition to getting your car stolen, gas, vapors, and fumes, I say that, y'all, because somebody was telling me the other day, we had a whole argument, they were telling me, you know, I, I, left, I cut the car off. They was like, I'm supposed to leave it running. No, I'm not. I knew yeah. I was smart. Anyway. Yeah, cut your car off, man. You want a body in it? Yes. Cut it off, because you're living in a time where you have to be. So, hey, Acom, be careful when you pump gas next time. You know, hey, and anybody else, you know, definitely in the city of Mississippi, this, this goes on everywhere. So just be careful when you out here getting your gas, because anything can happen. That's right, y'all. Yeah. A lot of crap going on. So yeah. we're going to leave Akon right there where he at. Yeah, but so, I love Akon. He is doing a lot for the community, you guys. He really, really is yeah, doing a lot. Yeah, definitely Africa, the, the yeah. lights and water. I, I, I commend anybody to stand up, you know. So like, comment, and subscribe. Up next, we got a bit of a sports news for you wow. guys, all right? This is getting crazy with the sports right now. You know, yeah. playoffs, your favorite team losing. So, so. the 76ers <laughs> ban uh, fan for dumping popcorn on Russell Westbrook during game two, you guys. Wow, man. He was about to do something, you know. He was really mad about it, but they had to calm him down. That fan was um, put out. And, and banned. He was banned permanently, you know, from uh, the, was it the Staples Center. That's right. The 76ers, um, they banned the fan from the Wells Fargo Center Wells indefinitely, Fargo. according to a statement on Thursday. After an incident mm -hmm. involving the Washington Wizards, Russell Westbrook in game two of their NBA round playoff series Wednesday night, you guys. Wow. I mean, you can't be dumping popcorn on people, man. Come on, man. You got to be entertained to watch the game. But you are not to take these uh, matters personally to, you know, disrespect the player. That's you right. know, come on, they they people too. They they got family too. They there to do their job. So a few years back, um, Russell also had an altercation or incident with a yeah. fan, where um, the fan was making, you know, heckling him and saying all type of things, and he went off and cursed him out, yeah. and he was fined, of course. And so now. They are looking for stricter things, penalties for the fans because they just do whatever they want to do, y'all. I mean, hey, if you dump popcorn on somebody, you may not get the the results you expected. Definitely, they lost a game or anything like that. And and big respect to uh, West of Rosebrook. I like him to a degree. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For over the years, he's been West uh, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. Can't never yeah. say the name when I want to. But hey. And He's a, a great player that's overall. Right. He is. In addition to Russell Westbrook and popcorn thrown on him, oh, man. New York Knicks banned a fan from the Madison Square Garden. What's going on? For spitting on Atlanta Hawks' Trey Young. Wow, man. Spitting. Mm, they would have had to yeah. find me, baby. I would have been fined and everything. Yeah. You spit yeah, on I me. I took it to the extra level. You, you know, that's a rule you don't do. You don't spit on somebody, man. Come on, man. I'm as man. calm as I can be when it comes to certain things. But I think that if you spit on me, that yeah. I might just lose my temper. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Knicks, <laughs> they did the best they could. They banned this fan indefinitely. You know, uh, that was the least they could do. You know what I'm saying? And they gave it to the authorities to take matters further. But Treyon didn't, he didn't press charges or anything. Yeah, you know, he, he was just, really nice about it. Wait, said, what do you think about the fans doing that? And this happens all the time. These are not the only two instances. Mm -hmm. Well, you got restrictions. You know, coaches don't want their players to do this. and. The other, you know, you got restrictions, but at some point, the person may take it personally. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I, if I if I was Trey Young, I probably would have took this offense to the next level. You know, went up there, gave him some hands or whatever. You know, it depends on how I felt at that time. But you're not finna be spending on people. You can't be doing that, man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> they are, um, they, but they are looking into make our strict in penalties um, against the fans. So. Fans, y'all be nice. I think that's real. People will get to fighting in the stands. Mm -hmm. Yes. They'll yes. fight each other. Fans are really, but I think. Trey Young is a great, you know. But they sell all the alcohol in the arena. I think that's the case. <laughs> I, I think that those fans get a little bit um, tipsy and they go a little bit out of control. And take it personal. And Trey yeah. Young doing a great job. They going to game three. Is it game three now? And he said he's just going to remain focused on game. He's not going to jump out there and. This and that. So I he's gonna man. try as much as he can, I'm sure. Yeah, turn on the cheek. That that works sometimes. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe so we can talk about these issues. Fans, stop spinning on people, stop throwing popcorn. You may not get the results that you expected. 2021, you know. That's right, you guys. <laughs> and up next we have the hip hop skinny, all right? Wow. 
the Hill Gucci Hop Man. City. Gucci Man introduces a new sign E to his new label. What, 1017? 1017. 1017. Big Walk Dog from Tuwala, Mississippi. I got to say. Mississippi, y'all. Yeah, he said, Gucci put a comment on Instagram and said, if you follow me, follow my new artist. He said he wanted the hardest uh rappers in mississippi yeah gucci mm. man signs to his label you know what's his name i'm crazy i don't know is that he's from mississippi the, i've the never heard dog. of him y'all big walk have dog. you heard big walk yeah dog? i seen the actual day he got signed you know i followed the, the, but have you did you know him before he got oh, signed i didn't know of him oh my no gosh. such. but hey Mississippi are uh, breaking concrete right now, you know, for anybody to come out of it, I, I salute you. I know it's not easy, you know, so I had to salute Big Walk Dog, you yeah. know. Well, now he's joining. He joining with Pooh Shiesty. Yeah, you know, uh, Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, uh -huh. uh, Fulio. You know, Gucci Man been, uh. Fugiano. Fugiano, Fug Fug yes, yes. He, Where they get these new names from? It's a new era. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, it's a new era, but you know, Gucci Man is like the master of right now. And little babies and yeah, yeah, it's, all it's type of names. Right now. You know, but Gucci Man, I got to get to him. He's been, he trying to do this Master P thing, you know, the South, where he just giving artists a chance. I salute anybody that do that, you know, because a lot of them do not look back. You yeah, know, they so. saying he got the Walmart label, is what they're saying. Yeah, look, Gucci I doing guess it. I keep bringing that variety. 1017, Big Walk Dog, congratulations, you know. Uh, then maybe they open the door for Jackson artists because Jackson have a lot of great artists. They just overlooking them. I mean, I know a whole lot of them personally, including myself. Of course, I have to put me in the arena. That's but, right. But, you know, Tremble does it. Tremble does, does it. it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, this may open the door for him. And, and shout out to Two Wild in Mississippi. I never heard yeah. of that. Yeah, and Big Walk Dog, y'all. Big Walk Dog from Mississippi has signed on Gucci Mane's 1017 label. I'm excited. Even though I didn't know him. And he's from Mississippi. Yeah. I'm just so excited. He stayed excited. down to his turn and he made it. What did he do? How was he recognized by Gucci Mane? I'm guessing Gucci uh, A&R sponsors. Uh, was, he had put a thing on Instagram for new artists to go ahead and tag your video in. Really? And, and, I, and he tagged himself. Did you tag I, yourself? Of course I did. Okay. Of course I did. I only have you opportunity to tag me. Of course. Right. Trauma does it. Trauma does it. <laughs> All right, so Keisha K. Ora has been welcoming Big Walk Dog, you know what I'm saying? Timbaland is welcoming him. I think they got some big things about to come up. Yeah, he said he's going to be excited. a superstar by next year, so we'll see what Gucci do, you know. So all of y'all, make sure that you guys go check on your people. Your guy from Mississippi, Big Walk Dog, Big Walk like Dog. on Instagram and all, and let's see what it's about. Yeah, and make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. So we can talk about these issues, you know, at Weekly Time Castle, week 21. That has been it, you guys. I really, really enjoyed kicking it with you. That was Weekly Time Castle. Yes, and I'm Trumbull Does It. You can follow me on Instagram, all social media platforms, Trumbull, D-U-Z-Z-I-T, Does It. And also, uh... Yeah, my name is Didi Shoto. I go by your God is Didi Shoto. You can check me out on Wednesday night from 8 to 10 on 90.1. My podcast, God is Guidelines, will be coming out next week on Tuesday. And hey, just keep watching, y'all. I got a lot of stuff coming at you, all right? That's what's up. That's what's up.
16 bars, offering quality recording, mixing, mastering, editing, music production, live bands, voiceovers, and more. Contact us today. Block rates available. Also visit on Instagram at 16 Bar Studio. Call KJ at 601-622-2922. Book your session today.